The bell tolls midnight throughout all of our land In Chiapas, El DF, Tijuana In San Anto, Chicago, Tucson In East Los And in San Jose, Califas Why haven't you learned anything? the same feather flock together congested on a majestic street corner that's a short time goal for most of them because most of them would rather expand their wings and hover over greater things that's what we call inspired flight by the pigeons that gotta eat pizza crust every night and let there be light was understood when a mic stand descended from up and above into the hood and if my face is worth a thousand words when it's scarred i would only hope that two of those are cocoa and butter to heal the wounds of the tissue scarred Mark the death of my womb But I've graduated, got my wings And you've gotta let go of my constructed Lego, ego, waffle, halo Hey yo, I'm a black man with an African Drum in my chest that beats in the opposite of the right Let me know I got a breath left In this frigid, fragile capsule that allows you to fly south Before the winter winds trap I rock my, hell I made it Wetsuit stitch so I can swim in elevators Crazy wet through pits I'm just a pigeon with one mile left, that doggy paddle Charter High Magnet School is located on the southwest side of Tucson. 80.3% of student population in Charter is students of color. 19.7% is Anglo or white. The common stereotype about Charter is that it is ghetto and low performing. Although the common stereotype of Charter is very negative, many Charter students would agree. At Charter, there is never any soap or towels in the bathroom. The library and classrooms do not have updated resources and materials. In the cafeteria, there are pipes sticking out of the wall and drywall is broken and unpainted. And more than half of the water fountains don't work or have no water pressure. is a magnet school and the magnet portion of the campus resembles a first-rate educational institute with cold functioning water fountains, matching tile with custom design, brass room number plates, easy access to the global conference center with dozens of internet ready computers fitted with multimedia capabilities and a state-of-the-art courtroom and law library. A lot of the, the magnet program is, is, is the main part of the school here. If something wrong were to go wrong with the magnet program and something wrong were to go wrong with the classes, any other classes here at Troy, the magnet program would be the first priority. And, and I see that as wrong, but and they use the magnet program to create diversity. But by creating diversity, none of the students that are in this area that are supposed to come here, hardly any of them get a beat involved with the magnet program. So in a way, it's another school inside of our school for the students outside of the district and most of the students outside of the district that come here are Anglo students. We also got a problem here at Choya High School days or a special ed classes, you know, the even the worst is, you know, special ed, you know, they should be treated like for special ed um, things, you know, like they should be like in their classes, they should have like more special things to them, you know, because they like if you see in their classrooms, whatever right now, we got like all this messed up class that looks like a freaking garage, whatever. They're surrounded by this, em yeah, like by this environment, they has like these big machines, like all over the place, you know, that they can be dangerous for them, you know. It's a problem that you know that everybody sees, but like nobody talks about it, you know, because I don't know if they. If they don't want to make a change, of if they know, I mean, they don't want to talk about, which is, I mean, it's a question that we all should ask, you know. Catalina Foothills High School is located on the north side of Tucson, and it is the most expensive public school in the state of Arizona. Catalina Foothills has two weight rooms that look like gyms, a bookstore, a rock climbing center in the gym, 
Taco Bell and Burger King in the cafeteria, and an overall beautiful campus and facility. I want you to know. The local community surrounding the school is very wealthy. Only the wealthiest people in Tucson can afford to live there, which reflects the lack of diversity seen at school. The money from the neighborhood pours into the school, creating a luxurious and impressive look. Because in terms of equity, other school districts or other schools might want to do the same thing. Well, they realized that they couldn't afford to do this ever again. Okay, this is a one-time thing. This is the most expensive school in existence in the state of Arizona. Okay, now, I don't know if you noticed the sign when you walked in. They're trying to raise $500,000 through through tax credits. Tax credits, that means that if you donate $200 to any particular organization, uh, public school organization, State will give you the two hundred dollars back. I think last year Catalina Fuels raised over four hundred thousand dollars. What you got to do is ask yourself the question: From the art school, how much did we get tax tax uh, tax credit? The comparison between Choya and its magnet program, or Choya and Catalina Foothills, is a microcosm of Tucson. The inequalities and segregation you see reflect the larger community. The county jail is only a few blocks away from Troya. Meanwhile, La Paloma Hotel and Resort is only a few blocks away from Catalina Foothills. Some people may see this and think, it's not a big deal or it's not an important issue, but one must realize the small things. The same city bus number 23 is used for the jail and Troya High School. The bus is always full of work release inmates and students. They would never put that jail next to Catalina Foothills. Uh, you'll notice over here to your right hand side, there's we're building more jails, a lot of money going into the construction of more jails, and at the same time where our school system is, is falling apart at the seams, where they're talking about not giving teachers raises, and talking about laying off thousands of, of teachers and, and, and educators, where you go and, and, and you see the location, the proximity. Choya is right next to the A Mountain, and the A, the a Mountain is right there. So how, how close is this to Choya High School? Malo muchacho, most deaf con Tony Flaco, el idioma que yo hablo, pretty young champ like Camacho, spitting a hot flow, b-boy shout Zulu Gestapo, bro, you know my estilo, cigarillo con tamarindo, habichuela negra, saros amarillo, yo soy suave viejito, campeón nacional como Tito, bringing the heat, bro, unique when I speak, yo, doing my way like Carlito, beats by M-A-S-E-O, from Pelame to Puerto Rico, play my jam on...